Seek and welcome to my studio. Well, today I am inviting you to watch along and here is my challenge. So I found this image on Google search and uh, I went ahead and used the grid method on here and then transferred the grid on this transparent paper and sketched the image on the grid and then used carbon paper and transferred that image I don't know if you could see it on this uh, watercolor paper that I just sewed and that's what this gray tint is and I transferred the image that I sketched from the transparent paper onto this okay so my challenge is to do something that I normally do not and that is to use two tiny brushes and uh, these don't have brands on them so I can't tell you what I'm using there's no brand I am going to be using liquid here from Windsor and Newton and also ivory black from Windsor and Newton uh, lemon yellow from Da Vinci brand and Royal Blue from Lefranc. Uh, by the way, I am not sponsored, so I'm just giving this information freely to you. Okay, so and also what I will be doing is using this tiny little palette and uh, I'm going to be holding on to it and just mixing my colors and painting. So uh, I can't wait to start. Let's go. I'm using lemon yellow, royal blue, and a little bit of white. I'm starting with the eye. I'm not really concerned about the colors. Uh, I'm trying to match it exactly to a flesh tone uh, color. I'm just uh, using my own inspiration and actually I'm going off of my own inspiration at this point and um, if you notice I'm just uh, sketching with a detail brush and uh, on the left side um, is the example and um, so if you notice the example it's just a black and white um, version um, a copy it's a black and white copy of of, um, of what my inspiration photo is um, one other thing that I wanted to mention to you is that uh, even though my drawing is uh, fairly accurate to my example um, as I um, start blocking in um, these colors I'm not going to try to hold on to my drawing I'm going to put uh, some changes to the drawing and um, and just focus more on certain parts like maybe the eyes the nose the mouth and uh, partially the ear and everything else is um, pretty much secondary so what do I mean by that I mean that I'm not doing a reproduction of this photo uh, I am using the photo as just an example for me to follow something that I have so if you notice I'm just uh, using this small brush it helps me to be a little bit more precise in my um, blocking in of the colors and uh, I'm constantly picking up the paint and just uh, applying it so Later on, I'd like to show you what I'm actually doing, and that's using the plane concept. So I'll get more into that in a little bit. But for now, I'm just um, blocking in my light tones. Um, it is a tonal painting, it seems, uh, or at least that's how it's starting. So there's a little bit there on top of the eyebrow and um, 
the temple right there. So I'm using the background as my uh, dark. So now I am picking up royal blue and titanium white. So um, these two colors I like to just possibly block in the eyes or use this color to sketch in the eyes I should say and I am using liquid to um, just make the paint more workable and here I go blocking in my uh, color of the eye and something with the liquid it does dry fast so that helps me to come back uh, possibly in the next couple hours and just rework this area so it will be dry especially if you put it out in the Sun it dries fast so noticing that um, I am working more within the socket area I'm visualizing a socket around the eye and uh, I'm not venturing out into different parts I'm just zooming in uh, within this area trying to get more um, likeness so and I am holding on to my darks and my lights and uh, the surface of this paper that I just sewed it, it feels really good because um, it glides really well okay well guys I just wanted to um, stop it here and talk to you for a few minutes uh, in regards to what I want to do to finish this painting so uh, if you notice I worked on this particular part of the eye uh, using a small brush um, what I thought of was to introduce cad um, yellow uh, this is by Grombacher, cad yellow um, hue, and also vermilion, okay? So there's this off-brand called Phoenix. Uh, I'm using that. It's not really a, a uh, expensive brand, but um, it does the job. So what I wanted to do was uh, experiment a little bit. So if you notice this side of the um, uh, face, it's starting to be really cool, right? So what I wanted to do is warm up. Um, everything else and also I might I might I'm not sure yet I might um, introduce yellow ochre to work on the lips and partial nose so uh, pretty much it's all experimental stuff so that's one the other thing is that um, the way it's going it's very tedious and it takes a long time to actually accomplish um, quite a bit so as you notice it took me about six seven minutes I guess to do this portion so the way we're going the rate that we're going is uh, that uh, we might sit here forever trying to finish this so here's what I'll do I'll do all the important features on the face so I'll start on this eye then move on to the nose the mouth and maybe the ear and partial uh, hair and then I'll finish this off camera and I'll be back and I'll show you what I've done so I think you'll get the gist of it okay so let's start okay so now I'm taking um, vermilion red with ivory black and once again using liquid to uh, make the paint glide better and if you notice um, I am starting on the left eye and I do have the example there that you can just kind of follow so I've shown you a finished uh, result of, um, of what my painting uh, will look like and uh, just so you see where I'm going with so one thing please ignore the hand that you saw I'll talk to you about that in just a little bit and um, doing the same thing with the left eye that I did with the right eye just just hold on to your drawing with the right shades of color and here I go with the eyebrow and um, and just you know glide in the colors one thing about this is that the colors that you're putting the tones uh, might be a little strong but you can always come back and adjust it later okay so uh, again as you notice it's pretty self-explanatory I just went ahead and blocked in uh, everything else so now I am working on 
the mouth. So again, the mixture of color that I'm using is vermilion red with um, titanium white and yellow ochre. So that's one color that I will talk about in just a few minutes. So that helps me to get this shade uh, of color. So, and if you notice, I'm pretty much focused on just the features, right, of this guy. I'm just working on the eyes, the mouth, and now I am starting on the nose. So, again, um, putting some light tones right uh, underneath the nose area. And um, if you notice, I am going to work on um, the shadow right underneath the nose. And that is the shadow that I'm working on right now. Okay, so back to the eye. I am just adjusting the colors. As I said earlier, I'll, I'll probably go over it and over the colors and just if it's too strong, I'll start uh, applying different colors on what I have to make it work. Okay, so that's the color of the eye. And then I am starting on this nose, as you could see. So just working on the light tones. And um, there it is. Using cadmium yellow with my mixture and now over to the ear. Again, I'm just sketching it in. So cadmium yellow and royal blue is what I need next. And um, these two colors, along with uh, ivory black and uh, titanium white. So if you notice, I am using this color to um, block in. Um, here, let me just finish making it. I'm going to block it in uh, as uh, some highlights onto different areas that I have already painted and uh, just to bring more focus and uh, there is the nose and um, just put some highlights there on the other part on the other nostril and uh, right there between the mouth and the chin Well guys, as you could see, I got the face uh, pretty much done. Uh, I'm just experimenting with color, having a lot of fun with this. Now, one thing that I did, which could be considered a drastic change, is took away a lot of the drawing. I wanted it to be very simple, so uh, where your attention quickly goes on the face and nothing else. Well guys, I still have my drawing on my uh, picture, but I'm going to ignore it. And the colors that I need are yellow ochre and titanium white. So with these two colors, uh, I am actually putting some more highlights and I am refining um, my portrait. So, but the best thing is not to really worry about my drawing, but just to have fun, experiment, and um, implement my likes and just um, just have fun. The other colors that I need are cadmium yellow, vermilion red, and titanium white. So uh, I quickly off camera drew this hand and I think that it'll look really nice um, with, with something that's perspective in front 
of the face, especially if you notice, uh, I got rid of uh, most of my lines on the portrait and uh, I need something that represents perspective. Okay, so that's why I did that. And on the left side uh, of your screen, you'll actually see what my portrait will look like and where I'm headed. So um, now, since my uh, background is uh, dark and uh, part of the hand, especially the palm area is dark, I am starting with my uh, light tones. Uh So back to my small brush, as you can see, I'm just drawing in my light tones and anything that I visualize being dark, I am just uh, going to leave it as my scrub color, which is gray. Okay, so just staying within my drawing, I, uh, I don't want to lose my drawing, so that's really important, and that's why I'm taking this approach and not the big brush. With a smaller brush, I have the tendency of being more in control uh, of my drawing, so, so that's why I decided to uh, pretty much stay with my tinier brush. Okay, so working on the pinky area, putting some highlights on top of the pinky, so and um, not really worrying about the um, making of the color, uh, actually uh, making the flesh color. I'm just uh, using my own uh, colors at this stage. So right there, that would be the ring finger by the way. So, okay, and back to the thumb. So with the thumb, if you notice, um, the color that I have, it's a little bit warmer than my other fingers. So, so that's uh, just to put some uh, differentiation between colors of the fingers. That helps. Okay, and uh, with a lighter color, I've started the highlights. And now with a bigger brush, as you can see, I'm just blocking in the darker tones. Slightly darker than the gray, but again, as I come in and put changes in, it will work. So earlier I had promised that I talk to you about what planes are. Now these are planes. Planes are flat surfaces that you can visualize. Now I actually went ahead and drew it on the transparent paper so you could see better, but now um, I transferred it onto the actual finished product so you could see it. Okay, so back to the fingers. And um, I think what I'll do is just have you watch me paint for, uh, for a few minutes and then I will talk about um, some more colors. So what I'm doing now is, um, is actually um, bringing emphasis on the edges of, um, of the face since I don't have a whole um, head painted and it's just partial face. What I want to do again is to uh, address it by bringing some dark tones on the surrounding part of the face so this way 
It will help me with, uh, with the perspective. And um, also back to the fingers, as you could see. So I'm not really working on one area, am I? I'm just um, scanning through, doing a little bit here and there as, as I see fit. And um, this way, um, I, I'll build the whole painting uh, in a uniform fashion versus focusing on one area and then moving on to something else. So now I'm using my um, vermilion red and ivory black and um, with these two colors uh, I do want to also not to forget using uh, liquid with this mixture and what I'm doing now is um, painting between the ear and the eye so I want to simplify that area and just go ahead and um, block this area in with this color and uh, since it is a little too dark for my taste uh, I do want to uh, try something with um, paper towel so but here let me just finish this off and um, take the paper towel as you could see it and I'm just going to um, wipe away a little bit right there and just um, thin it out and um, this way it'll help me to flatten out any differences that I might have with brush strokes and and it will um, um, serve uh, what I want this area to look like so there it is so the great thing about this paper towel is that you can spread it you can use it to spread with and now let's start with the right side of the face so there's a little hint of a neck I don't have to paint in it I can just leave it as you see it and then again just um, darken around the face as what I'm doing and um, just bring it down right there okay so back to the paper towel, I'm just going to use that to wipe away. Okay. So I'm just simplifying, wiping it, keeping it very uh, uh, more like non-existent but you could still see a little hint of it so it's not definite and now with the paper towel do you notice that I'm just uh, painting underneath that chin area between the fingers okay so with whatever's left on my paper towel I can use that and just put some hints of uh, changes uh, on the face and with my small brush and ivory black which is thinned down I am actually creating some accented areas around the face so it almost looks like a mask but it has some definition around it so uh, also with this color it brings attention to the area that you want to bring attention to so um, so just around the uh, face and um, there's really not that much to it. In other words, it doesn't really require much skill to do this. Okay. Just creates a finishing touch.
And then you can also go downward as you saw, I was trying to soften the edges of the brush strokes. And um, right there, so it just gives another dimension. You have that brownish color and now you have this really dark black color just creates a, another dimension. Okay, so just if you want, you can go ahead and watch me paint for another minute or two. Well guys, that's all the time that I have with this painting. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now's the time. You can go ahead and do that. Press the like button. And, oh yeah, don't forget to share. So, till next time, happy painting. Bye!